1775, the Continental Congress created the Chaplain Corps. Under the command of General George Washington, each soldier was required to attend worship service every Sunday. While other armies advanced on their feet, Washington's troops advanced on their knees. It's time for the Chaplain's Report with Caleb Colquitt on Tactics. We are going to continue our look through the book of Daniel, and as you may recall, we've already gone through this episode where King Darius and, and Daniel uh, have this, they have a mutual respect for one another. King Darius really likes Daniel. He's going to put him in a high position in his kingdom, and because of this, the princes and satraps, the officials that are vying for that job, they want to eliminate Daniel because he's the biggest threat to them having more power. And so eventually they get him thrown into the lion's den for praying. They get him thrown into the lion's den because of his faith, because they couldn't figure out any way to make him look bad. And so they attacked the only thing that they could think of, which was, of course, Daniel's very strong faith and reliance upon God. And he's been put through the lion's den. Darius was very distressed about this. And the next morning, out comes Daniel, perfectly okay. And we're going to see sort of the conclusion of that story in this next part. This comes from Daniel 6, 23 through 24. Then the king was very pleased and gave orders for Daniel to be taken up out of the den. So Daniel was taken up out of the den and no injury whatever was found on him because he had trusted in his God. The king then gave orders and they brought those men who had miraculously accused or uh, maliciously accused Daniel and they, uh, they cast them, their children and their wives, into the lion's den. And they had not reached the bottom of the den before the lions overpowered them and crushed all their bones. Well, first of all, I think this does kind of show the brutality of the Mede and Persian Empire. I mean, you don't just throw the guys that were evil, the guys that were that essentially duped the king, into putting Daniel in a situation where he had to choose between praying and obeying the law. They threw their wives and their children in there. So, you know, in no way is the Medes and Persians a representative of God's divine will or his judgment. But it does show you the brutality and the anger of this pagan king, King Darius. But in, in Daniel's position... And the way that he comes out, I love the description there that he came out with no injury whatsoever. So we're seeing something very similar to what we saw earlier in the book of Daniel, where Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were told that they would worship this idol or they would be cast into the fire. And the way it describes them is they came out not even smelling like smoke. It is as if, if the fire had never touched them. And Daniel is in the same position. He's thrown into the lion's den and he doesn't have any injury, not so much as a scratch. And yet when they throw these people in, it says that they had not even reached the den floor before these hungry lions had consumed them and broken their bones. So there's a definite message here and a definite contrast between the two. The contrast that is intentionally being shown and portrayed and, and put sort of center stage here is that because Daniel trusted in God, God sent his angel to close up the lion's mouth. These other people that trusted in their pagan gods and tried to destroy Daniel, a good man that had done them no harm whatsoever, had never done anything to undermine them or injure them in some way, they went after Daniel just because they wanted to amass their own power, to enrich themselves. The focus was on them, and they were only concerned with doing what they wanted, not with what was right, not with what was good. They were concerned with, how do I get mine? It was as self-centered a motivation as a human being can possibly get. And they reaped the rewards of their actions. Sadly, and we're not given a lot of information on exactly how this took place, the sort of indication is that it happened virtually immediately is that they and, unfortunately, their families also paid the price for their own envy. It really is a shame. 
Because in this case, they didn't even necessarily have to believe in God, just not do evil. And that really is a testament to God's judgment. Because even though the only way to find salvation and to escape our own imminent demise is to follow God, in this case, they didn't even really have to do that. They just had to not attack an innocent man to avoid this fate. Now, eternally, they would have still suffered the consequences. But right here, they could have avoided that if they had just left Daniel alone and played by the rules. God's judgment does not sleep forever. It comes quickly, and when it comes, it is intense, as these people found out all too well. But on Daniel's side, all he had to do was trust that God was going to deliver him, and he did. Darius believed that God would deliver him, and he did. You see, when you lean upon God, his promises get fulfilled. The promises of these other gods, these other pagan idols that were put up, they don't. And in their case, their biggest idol was not the ones that they worshipped. It was themselves. It was their own goal, their own greed, their own ambition. They decided that nobody was going to stop them from getting what they wanted. Didn't matter how they got it. Didn't matter if they had to cheat. Didn't matter if they killed another person and ended their life to do it. They were going to get what was coming to them. And eventually they did. But it wasn't what they wanted. Stay the course, friends. Now, y'all know that I am a big believer in personal liberty, and that means I think that you should be free to decide for yourself whether or not you like this video and subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel. However, I will say this. You know who else never subscribed to my channel? Hitler. So the way I see it, you have two options. You can either like this video and subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel, or you can be like Hitler. Totally up to you.